pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Carson Oaks, and today for our show we have an update on an African American museum in St. Petersburg, a report about a woman who was arrested at a Florida Dunkin' Donuts, and then the latest news about upcoming club meetings and information on a police shooting in Missouri. But first, let's hear about this NBA news from Ryan in the Sports Cage. What's up Mustangs, Ryan Garcia here in the Sports Cage. In NBA news like it has been all season, the Atlanta Hawks are in first place in the East and 10 games ahead of the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the Golden State Warriors are still in first place in the West and they are six and a half games ahead of the Memphis Grizzlies. In other news, the Oklahoma City Thunder are in the playoff hunt and Russell Westbrook is doing everything he possibly can to keep him in that hunt. Russell Westbrook for a certain stretch was averaging a triple double having won four games in a row. With Westbrook playing this good and Kevin Durant coming back in two weeks, it looks like he can ease into his game. And as of right now, it looks like the Thunder will be in the playoffs. And in Mustang Sports, the softball team suffered a tough loss yesterday against Lando Lakes. The Gators started off quick scoring three runs in the second inning and it looked like we were going to make a comeback since we scored one run in the third and one run in the fourth inning, but we couldn't get another run to tie it up. And in other news, our baseball team destroyed Sun Lake last night with a score of 9-3. The boys are now 6-3 overall and 3-0 in a way. That's all for the Sports Cage. Amber, what's going on in St. Petersburg? Today in local news, a St. Petersburg Mayor, Rick Kreisman, has announced plans for the city to begin the process to purchase the Dr. Carter G. Woodson African American Museum. Kreisman made the announcement Tuesday morning at the museum and said it's simply the right thing to do. The facility was created about 15 years ago, but in January, St. Petersburg Housing Authority Commissioners voted to sell off the museum against the pleas of volunteers, residents, and city leaders. As of right now, it remains unclear what the next step will be, but locals are just happy about the safety of the museum. That's all in local news. Carson, what's for lunch today? Head down to the cafeteria today to enjoy a delicious Asian meal consisting of firecracker or tangerine chicken with lo mein noodles, brown rice, and vegetable egg rolls. You may also purchase a PB and Jane Crossbowl, cheese pepperoni. Cheese pepperoni, sausage, or garlic French bread pizza, or nutritious salad from the salad bar. That's all for lunches, and now for your campus news. Talent show tickets are available for just a dollar during lunches, so pick them up in the cafeteria for the show later on this month. At 11 a.m. today, the jazz band will be going to the Heritage Springs Country Club to soothe the elderly with their delicate jazz, so wish them luck when you see the performers. Then over the weekend on Saturday morning, there's a Special Olympics at, event at Lakewood, so all participating members should show up on time. And when we come back from school after spring break, it's March Madness week. It starts Tuesday, so make sure you wear your college apparel for the dress-up days. And there will be many activities during lunch to kick off the fourth quarter. And today's the last day of the third quarter, so let's make sure all of our grades are good for spring break. And if any of my teachers are listening right now, help me. That's all that's happening around the ranch. Savannah, how's the weather treating us? Well, Carson, it is currently 70 degrees and extremely cloudy with a high of 86 and a low of 66. Due to the rain we had yesterday afternoon, it is also very humid at 84% and there remains a 20% chance of rain throughout the day till tonight where there will be a 50% chance to start off spring break. The weekend is looking about the same with highs in the low 80s and good chances of rain, so it won't be the greatest conditions for the beach. Rain will decrease starting Monday and skies will be clear for the rest of the week. Michael, where are you today? Well, Savannah, we're outside Miss Mundry, and there is a delightful smell. 
I don't know what it is, but oh, it looks like they're making pancakes in here. Yeah. Miss Benji, what is this? What is this pancakes for? This is celebration for our first period. They are ready for FCAT the day after spring break. My students are gonna rock it. Awesome, Tony. What did? What have you put into this? I have brought some pancake mix. I put some time. I put some effort. Love. Love and some sweat, Happiness. probably some blood too, but tons of love. <laughs> tons of love. You know, I got key. some tons of love over here. <laughs> yeah, you do. All right, who else wants to be famous? We're right here, we're right here, we're right here. All right. <laughs> so, how many pancakes have you eaten? I I've ate like five. Five? That's pretty good. And how many pancakes Minus do three. you? Minus three. Yeah, like two. <laughs> <laughs> how many do you plan to eat? As many as I can. All right. Now, how long is this going? Like, you just going the whole period? Yeah. That's what I think, yeah. 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 Students, the box is completed. <laughs> all right. Well, I wish you all the best of luck on your FCAT. Like Good luck. Pancake? Yeah, I'd love a pancake, actually. Wait. Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> the weather photo of the day was sent to by Mr. Scott. He took this picture while complaining about me being on the weather, and shows it shows a beautiful sunset and some mediocre students. Thank you so much, Mr. Scott. And I'm sorry to dampen your mood, but you will not be seeing Michael on the weather till next year. Amber, what's new around the nation? Today in national news, two police officers suffered very serious wounds early Thursday morning after being shot during demonstration in Ferguson, Missouri. St. Louis County Police Chief John Belmer said that it appeared that at least three shots were directed exactly at the officers. Witness Ivory Ned 24 told NBC News that tensions were running high before the shots erupted. Just last week, Attorney General Eric Holder said that the police had fostered a highly toxic environment of racism and misconduct. As of right now, both injuries are not considered life-threatening and the people responsible for the shooting have not yet been identified. In other news, authorities found more than $10 million worth of marijuana hidden in a shipment of frozen avocado pulp at a West Suburban cold storage facility in Illinois. Sheriff police responded to the facility on March 4th after receiving a call about a suspicious shipment. Authorities ultimately found 2,100 pounds of marijuana hidden in roughly 1,500 packages of frozen avocado pulp. Drug enforcement agency and sheriff's police continue to investigate. That's all national news. Carson, what did that woman get arrested for? Well, Amber, a woman arrested on an incident exposure, indecent exposure charge at a Florida Dunkin' Donuts told police that she got naked as a dare. Employees at the franchise said Shakara Martin walked up to the storefront in West Palm Beach on Sunday. They said she wasn't wearing a scrap of clothing. Martin sat down at a table outside the store and began chatting up a man who was just sitting there. It wasn't long before people began to complain. Magdalena Rivera, who works at the Dunkin' Donuts, said that they had to call the cops because the woman was driving away business. And in other crazy news, an Illinois mother wanted her children to watch less TV, so she allegedly filed a rifle at the 50-inch flat screen. Police charged Jennifer Ullery, for, who was 40 years old, with reckless discharge of a firearm, unlawful possession of a firearm without a license, and three counts of endangering the health and safety of a child. The children were watching music videos when apparently the mother came charging in and pulled the trigger. The kids are now, obviously, living with another relative. Thank you for tuning in to the Mustang News in the Morning. I'm Amber Lewis. And I'm Carson Oaks. Have a great day and a spring break.